this is a great little trick that we can use levels for. Normally, when we think of levels, we think of lighting. But a big part of the use of the levels tool is in controlling colour. Now, surprisingly, when we look at an image like this, which has a very strong blue cast, the levels tool can fix most of these problems. We don't have to resort to other more complex colour control tools to fix this. Just to show, we go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. Just drag this over here so we can see our Levels palette. Now, as we know, the Levels histogram shows us what the lightest pixels are and what the darkest pixels are. This histogram is showing us that everything looks in pretty good shape. There are some very black pixels and there's some very light pixels. But uh, our eyes do not fill us. We see that this is a pretty ordinary looking picture as far as the colour goes. Very common with snow pictures without sunlight. To fix it, we now get sneaky. We go to the channel drop down and we look at the red channel. Holy dooly, look at that. That histogram's awful. It says that there's plenty of dark red pixels, but once we get it past about the three quarter strength tone red pixels, nope, no more. Therefore, not enough red. Take a look at the green channel. Similar problem, not enough coverage of green pixels. The blue channel, Ah, well, everything here is hunky-dory. There's plenty of pixels for blue. So, to make your fix and to correct the colour cast, balance up the histogram by dragging in the light-coloured pixels for red so that you touch the edge of the histogram diagram. Now it looks a lot better. A bit pink, but we'll fix that. Go into the green channel, which also has a similar problem, and balance it up. Drag it in so it touches the edge. Now we're starting to look good. I'll do the same for the dark end. That's done. Go to the blue channel. And I just might tweak that a little bit at the bottom of the blue scale. Say OK. And look at that. Instant colour correction. How easy was that?